Hello, hello folks, I'm Raido Boost again and in this brief video I will talk about bridge design but actually I'm focusing how you can export your bridge design from Civil 3D into Autodesk Revit. First of all, there are different ways how you can do it. We have made our bridge design using bridge modeler tools that is a separate plugin for AutoCAD Civil 3D 2017 and once we have created a bridge I may want to make some additional changes in Autodesk Revit. Of course, I can export my bridge from AutoCAD Civil 3D into IFC using a command IFC export and in here if I go to options I want to ensure that my solid 3D object is selected because my 3D components that are built using Bridge Modeler are true AutoCAD 3D objects. Exporting to IFC is good workflow if you want to share your project data with somebody else not using Autodesk Revit or maybe you want to start off from different perspective like creating 4D, 5D simulations and you want to be able to export that data into some open standard and using that open standard format in some other package. Right now we are concentrating on Autodesk Revit workflow and for that I dismiss my dialog in here and go to my Autodesk Revit. In Autodesk Revit 2017 I have opened up a new project and also I have installed an extension that is called Civil Structures. This extension is a available for Autodesk subscription customers and it has been available also in previous versions. In terms of general workflow, it's quite the same also with previous AutoCAD Civil Autodesk Revit products. Once I have installed this extension and once I have opened up my AutoCAD Civil 3D project, I can go to Extensions, Civil Structures and start my integration with AutoCAD Civil 3D. That is a real magic. I mean, you don't have to open that data or import that data manually into Autodesk Revit but you can connect to AutoCAD Civil 3D project. So I hit integration and I now see a dialog integration with AutoCAD Civil 3D. I can select my project because I have only opened one project. I can select only this project that is named as Final Project DWG. Now my main focus is importing or updating from AutoCAD Civil 3D. That's why I keep this selection box as it is. And now I can start to select my corridor, surface and bridge models. Because I may have different road corridors and surfaces and bridges, I can select which one I want to bring in. It is also important to mention that um, during this step I'm not yet importing bridge itself, but I'm importing a road surface. So I hit OK. I can now see a separate dialog called Roads and Terrain Definition. It clearly states that I'm dealing with road and terrain data right now. And in here I have a selection tree from different components and I can make changes. For example in terms of road configuration I can select road I want to import. Right now my road is limited at that location where my bridge is so it's from 240 up to 560. Same values as we saw in AutoCAD Civil 3D when we started to create our bridge. I can add also other segments or alignments roads but also so I can change horizontal alignment, vertical profile, cross sections and topography. Once I'm satisfied or have looked through those important parameters, I can hit OK. This message is quite important when you start using this extension because once you do your first integration, your bridge is not yet ready to be imported and this message clearly states that you have to use a separate extension called Bridge Definition concrete slab voice girders. So I hit OK and I'm going back to my Revit session and I can see my road surface. It is a mass object but now I want to see also my Civil 3D bridge in Autodesk Revit 2017 and for that I have to use extensions, civil structures and bridge concrete slab voice girders. So which tool you have to use, it depends on which type of bridge you designed in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So 
So I hit the bridge concrete slab with Curtis and in a second or so I should see a separate dialog called bridge definition concrete slab with Curtis and this user interface is now actually quite same when compared with Civil 3D bridge modeler extension and we can do quite same changes also in here before we actually import our bridge into Revit. Right now we are assuming that we want to have that bridge as it is in Civil 3D. So instead of going through all those superstructure and substructure items that I can do of course and change some parameters, I hit OK. And after that, based on AutoCAD Civil 3D bridge design, in Autodesk Revit, all those components are built as separate families, depending on bridge reach or size it may take a while but still it is quite automated process and it's much easier to wait than to recreate from scratch once the import is finished you have your preach from civil 3d in autodesk revit and in here we talk about autodesk revit components for example if i click on pierre i can see that it is actually a family so that's how typical autodesk revit models are built using families by the way, you're able to change those families yourself that are used with that extension. For example, if I go to extensions, civil structures, I can use customization of bridge families. If I click on that, different bridge definition modules are loaded first and then I can select which family I want to change. You can also see a location of those families and those families are divided into bridge component folders. For example, here I can choose metric component and make some changes with that family itself. I hit console right now. From civil structures, you also find a documentation tool. So if you click on that, you actually start to create different additional views for your Autodesk Revit project. You can select which type of views you want to get, bridge, abutments, piers, curtains and settings. I hit OK with standard settings and you should see that my project browser will populate with additional views. It is really helpful if you want to export those component into products that are used for prefabrication because you have your components available on different views. For example, if I pick one of my pair, I can see on this component and I can easily generate a sheet view to bring that component onto my sheet view. I can also export my bridge back to AutoCAD Civil 3D, but let's keep that workflow for future videos. If I want to change my bridge design in Autodesk Revit, I have to use the same tool again that was used to create that first iteration of my bridge. If I hit this tool again, it will start to read my project and if it finds that I already have a bridge in place and makes an, some changes in here, I do not get any duplicates into my Revit project, but instead only parameters or components are added, dismissed and so on. For example, I can change my location of my pair. Maybe it will be 280 for the first here. I hit OK and it will do that change also in my Autodesk Revit project. Once the change is executed, I can see also that my peer location has changed. So in that way, I can easily make changes in my bridge design. And it's a good starting point to make some advanced changes and also exporting that information into analysis package. With that, thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my channel to get a notification about future videos. Bye bye.